What time is it? It's science time! And now? And now? Doing all that cutting sure does make someone thirsty. That's why I use water, H2O, to quench my thirst. Not just for hydration, but also my thirst for knowledge. Most importantly, we can probably use water to talk about how those molecules are moving inside of a solar bag. Air molecules are transparent, which prevents us from seeing them. Just like the air inside a solar balloon, water molecules are in constant motion. If we use a cup of water, we can see how molecules act when they have different amounts of heat energy. The first cup is filled with hot water from the faucet. The second cup is filled with ice water. We will carefully place one drop of blue food coloring into the cold water and one drop of red food coloring into the hot water at the exact same time. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. You can see the difference right away. The hot water spreads the food coloring around much more quickly because the hot water has more energy than the cold water. Those molecules are bumping into each other more rapidly. Whether it's the water molecules in the cups or the air molecules in the solar balloon, we can see that more heat energy causes the molecules to act differently. What I love about that experiment is the food coloring actually allows us to see the energy that those water molecules have. It's pretty cool. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.